Hello to everybody. I'm happy to greet all the participants of ICANN Masters International Conference. And uh, I'm happy also to introduce my uh, core speakers, uh, Ludmila Belousava and uh, Nat Natalia Svetlana Litvinova. My name is Ludmila Grozun. I am a professor of Simon Kuznets Kharkiv National University of Economics. The topic of our presentation today is practice of applying a functional approach to the design of digital learning aids. Uh, the importance of the research is caused by the uh, some core factors. Among them, um, there is need for the uh, digital learning aids of new generation, which is increased by the urgent needs of content, contemporary education. The design of nowadays digital aids should be provided on the base of the progressive approaches, which are relevant to the realization of prospective educational paradigms. Also, the process of preparing of pre-service specialists today for successful work in their contemporary world currently needs for modification on the, on the new level. And uh, definitely the situation with vocational training is exaggerated nowadays by the ex unexpected circumstances caused by the global pandemic, war situation uh, and urgency of development, new forms of teaching and learning. Uh, uh, thus, uh, the current challenges cause uh, upgrading the model of the pro uh, specialist training based on new paradigms. And one of such paradigms might be holistic educational approach. The central idea of holistic education is cohesive development of the whole personality based on the strong links between personal experience and real life problems. Uh, uh, upgraded model of this uh, specialist training uh, based on holistic approach implements holistic approach in the complex of aspects. First of all, it should be based on concentration and generalization of educational content, uh, on the representation of the educational context directed on the stimulating of cognitive processes and uh, natural merging of students' educational practices with real life challenges that can be achieved via project-based learning and project-based activity. Uh, uh, so, uh, essential component of such an upgraded model is a preparation students for the design of innovative learning aids, aids based on the analysis of their didactic functions in the progress of project driven activity. The aim of our work is to highlight practical aspects and experience of the functional approach applying to the design of contemporary digital learning aids in the progress of project-based activity of the pre-service uh, IT specialists at the holistic vocational training. The theoretical background of work uh, is made by holistic educational approach, which I um, covered uh, above in brief, and functional approach to the design of digital learning aids. Uh, this approach is based on the deep analysis of the didactic functions of the learning aids and the ways of their realization by the learning aid. It is done to determine the functional charge of the aid structure components and the relations between the fulfillment of their certain functions. Uh, the, in general, the uh, issue of classification of uh, functions is really deep question and uh, it's not a biggest one. Uh, based on different studies, uh, we um, uh, tried to distinguish the groups of functions and accumulated them. Uh, integrated them. Uh, for example, the first group of functions promotes uh, studying motivation of uh, the uh, pupils and students. The second group of functions pro provide efficient representation of the learning content and its successful uh, di uh, digestion. Uh, then the group of functions of tutorial which um, process optimization in the lines of adaptation uh, to the trainees learning needs. And finally, these are meta functions that encourage trainees progress and increase their general educational potential. Uh, 
Uh, so, uh, in fact, the functional uh, approach uh, is a base for learning aids, structure and design, determines the structure of the aid, pin, pins up the relations between its components, defines the mechanisms of these relations realizations. And in such a way, a contemporary digital learning aid is transformed into the entire tutorian, uh, tutoring uh, environment that is able to overlay the facilities of the complex of typical uh, learning aids. It absorbs uh, the, uh, the uh, didactic facilities and uh, covers and overlays them. And it becomes possible thanks to the using uh, advanced technologies in the process of its design. Uh, so, uh, this approach contributes to the shaping of the specific requirements to the learning aid in the process of the uh, development and to the features of its design. This makes the process of the aid development practically driven, which is really essential for the students' project-oriented activity. Uh, so, based on this uh, theoretical framework, uh, we'd like to present theoretical uh, we'd like to present the uh, experience and how this functional approach was applied to the design of digital learning aids during the project-based activity of potential IT specialists at the holistic vocational training. Um, so, and now we are going to, co to cover some practical aspects and experience on some uh, special examples. Uh, example number one, uh, that is multimedia tutorial for English learning support created by the potential teachers of computer science and English together. At the initial stage, the didactic functions and structure of the multimedia tutorial were specified by the students due to the needs and problems of foreign language uh, mastering at school. Uh, also, they will reveal and determine basic demands to the tutorial, uh, the financial facilities and structures. Uh, so here you can see the uh, results of uh, this initial stage of project-based activity. Uh, they will uh, reveal uh, by the students that uh, the adequate facilities of uh, multimedia tutorials should include high uh, quality visualization of educational content, which uh, will allow to um, implement the set of functions set of didactic functions, uh, which you can see on the screen. Uh, the acquisition of linguistic competence also uh, with uh, revealing the functions, working out of various skills of uh, speech training, uh, the cognitive activity management, easy integration with uh, other e-resources, strong, strong feedback uh, with the uh, potential pupil, and for each of these didactic facilities, students revealed the uh, didactic functions which uh, belong to different groups, which I covered above. Uh, this analysis allowed to uh, build a structure, determine the structure of uh, the potential multimedia tutorial as a complex of uh, related uh, components. And uh, you can see here that a learning activity man management component is a core one, and uh, it also has uh, access into different other uh, in different other components uh, such as multimedia interactive uh, video library, um, illustration library, a bank of interactive ex exercises, and so on. On subsequent phases of the student's project, uh, uh, this multimedia tutorial was developed by the students within an our books environment with a great deal of uh, HTML programming. Uh, so cloud-based uh, multimedia tutorial, multi-English, covers the uh, set of uh, uh, topics in its content, and all of the topics are uh, focused uh, in uh, main categories. Uh, the students distinguished uh, such categories, let, such as let's focus on vocabulary, reading, grammar, listening and speaking, covering mostly all of the communicational linguistic competences. 
Uh, so uh, on uh, these uh, stages of the project, uh, uh, the lots of HTML uh, programming elements uh, were um, uh, developed in order to extend the uh, natural facilities of our books uh, environment. In particular, uh, it was uh, uh, via HTML programming, it was realized integration of interactive elements from other services, which is impossible in our uh, books in its uh, natural version. Also, via HTML programming uh, was done creation of the media content, uh, text formatting was also extended, integration of the interactive video was done with the uh, didactic support and so on. On the final stage of the student's project, the didactic features of multimedia tutorial were revealed, analyzed, tested with uh, some conclusions. Uh, I'll cover it uh, very briefly here. Uh, first of all, high quality visualization facility was uh, uh, done uh, due to uh, realization of library of multimedia illustrations. Formation of linguistic competence uh, due to the library of inter interactive video stories with didactic support. Uh, skills training is realized uh, via the ability to record the student speech and special feedback from the teacher. Uh, while the bank of interactive exercises, which uh, uh, include uh, lots of um, exercises of different types and different uh, levels. Uh, arrangement of cognitive activities, including game activity, also was realized by the students in this tutorial due to learning activity management camp component. Feedback component allowed to uh, um, allowed to realize trainees communication with the teacher. So at the final stage of the students' project. Uh, uh, summarizing the analysis of the developed multimedia tutorials. Students could conclude that tutorial designed on the basis of functional approach becomes really innovative. It creates uh, for the trainee the integral cloud-based cognitive environment oriented on the activity-centered um, centered learning. Uh, our second example we would to like to share here, uh, there is a different type of um, uh, tutorial. There is the e-guide on the cryptography fundamentals created by the pre-service IT specialists, which is very important because IT specialists, they are not a potential uh, pedagogics or potential teachers. Why they also used our practice, uh, our uh, functional approach to create an e-guide uh, again, on the initial stage, the, the didactic functions and structure of the e-guide will specify due to the needs and problems of the course information security, which is a basis, uh, basic course uh, uh, for lots of vacations. Uh, also, they were revealed by the students and determined basic demands to the tutorial and via functional facilities and structure. And uh, uh, this type of e-guide uh, has a special uh, uh, structure where theoretical uh, hypertext component is centered one, and it has access into uh, uh, learning tasks library, library of static and dynamic functions, uh, uh, along with um, feedback component and technological component. Uh, so uh, the subsequent sequent stages of the student's project, the uh, e-guide on cryptography was developed by the students in, within the MS Learning Content Development Systems, and uh, the main topics covered in the tutorial are given on this slide. Uh, library illustrations uh, um, contains a great deal of static images and dynamic visualizations, which allow to uh, implement informational transformation and uh, systematizing functions due to the uh, great level of uh, visualization of uh, encrypted algorithms, uh, the processes of work of encryption systems and so on. Uh, the library of learning tasks uh, which is an ingredient of uh, our e-guide, uh, includes uh, so-called teaching tasks, training tasks, and cognitive search tasks. 
teaching tasks uh, which are already made programs that implement a certain encryption algorithm uh, to run uh, this algorithm to analyze the operation of the algorithm and to make conclusions by answering questions which um, in, is encouraged uh, by the e guide and uh, which students have to follow to training tasks they are similar to uh, teaching tasks by the but uh, they uh, are proposed to solve independently based on the theoretical content and program implementation of teaching tasks and finally there is cognitive search tasks which um, expect applying students knowledge at creative level here you can see the episodes of your up on different types so, uh, of um, the tasks which allows to implement the functions of consolidation and development uh, also, uh, the self-checking system uh, as a component of uh, the e-guide on cryptography presented in the e-guide uh, with the help of Google Forms. The system includes a set of generalized the test task to check the level of mastery of educational material given in the e-guide. The form is connected to the Google spreadsheet and the answers of the respondents are automatically stored in it, which in turn allows the teacher to analyze the trainee's achievement. In such a way, the uh, group of function is implemented. You can, you can see it on the screen. Um, to sum up our experience and examples, uh, it's good to um, emphasize that the functional approach which was applied by the students to design of uh, the digital learning aids demonstrated its great benefits as for the quality of the aids as the results of the students' project-oriented activity. In particular, the functional approach enabled the students to specify the goals of development to determine the aid structure component to control the process of aid development, etc. The result of the academic project oriented activity had not only a learning value, but also obtained essential practical application. The elaborated digital learning aids were approved in the real educational processes at school and at university during various kinds of students' practices. On conditions of such an interdisciplinary preparation and project activity, pre-service IT specialists obtain meta skills on the design of innovative digital learning aids. Uh, in the process of this kind of training, potential pre-service IT specialists of dif different branches obtain full understanding and capability for practical embodiment for core ideas of holistic educational approach via their personal experience of development of their learning aids. In addition, the application of the functional approach made students' project activity more practically driven and motivational. Thank you for your attention and I'm ready to your questions.